What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the consistency of the Chicago Bulls and why it's very important to develop some consistency and whether or not we actually have been consistent up to this point. Again, this is going to be more specifically on the last couple of games that we've seen because we can't really compare the Chicago Bulls team to March compared to February and December. They're night and day, ladies and gentlemen. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the March period and the last couple of games have we been consistent and what's the importance of this consistency in this video but before we get started please like and subscribe to the bull show turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the chicago bulls consistency issues do you think we can become a little bit more consistent and obviously what are your thoughts on how we can get that level of consistency going so there are a couple of things in terms of consistency that I believe the Chicago Bulls are not really living up to at the moment, which causes big problems, but potentially could also cause potential solutions as well. So have we been consistent? In my eyes, I think the main answer is no. And the biggest one is what many players and coaching staff is starting to say, what many people outside of the Chicago Bulls players, the fans, what they're starting to say. And of course, the, the actual quarters themselves, the different types of quarters the Chicago Bulls are having. So in the last three games for the Chicago Bulls, if you're looking at the Cleveland game, again, terrific first half of that game. Uh, unbelievable. It almost felt like we're watching the good old Chicago Bulls, the Bulls of February, the Bulls of December, the Bulls of January, stuff of that nature. We're seeing the best we could possibly get out of the Chicago Bulls. And then in the second half, we turn into the Bulls that we don't want to see. The really bad defensively, the lack of ball movement, the, t the team isolation and stuff of that nature, which is extremely upsetting to see. But that is a prime example of what the Chicago Bulls are going through in almost every single game. Game against the Pelicans, we have three good quarters. Of course, some of them are better than others. But in the fourth quarter, we absolutely just give the Pelicans the win in that game. That is definitely something that shows our level of inconsistency. Same with the New York Knicks. Our first quarter in that game was really, really strong. We had a good level of, I guess, of, of dominance in that first quarter. And then... After that, it was relatively even, and then we ended up losing the game because of that, because we allowed the Knicks to come back, mainly in that second quarter. So the, the quarters itself are a level of inconsistency on its own. So that's definitely something to be worried about. Again, we want to have consistency. We want to play with all four quarters. Stacey King even said something similar in the game against Washington, where you can't just play two quarters of basketball and expect to walk away with wins. And it's very, very true, which is why our wins are also very inconsistent. Again, we're versing some winnable games here, ladies and gentlemen. We got a couple of games in the last four that we expected to win. But out of all of those, Cleveland, we won the game. Pelicans, we lost that game. The Knicks, we lost that game. And the Wizards, we ended up winning that game. That's a very inconsistent level of performance in terms of winning and losing against some of the winnable teams. Teams that are arguably struggling. Teams that are fighting for a play-in spot rather than trying to avoid the play-in spot like we are. So we're obviously a little bit higher in terms of our standing and our quality above those teams. But still, we continue to show that we have lack of judgment sometimes. Maybe it's a lack of urgency. Maybe it's a lack of awareness. I'm not really sure. But we can't seem to get the job done against some of those teams. So that is something that needs to be changed as well. And that shows our level of inconsistency. And of course, the players are themselves saying, Zach Levine said something like, we have to make sure that we don't get punched in the mouth or sucker punched by these teams. That obviously shows a little bit of level of inconsistency as well, because some games we can do that. We can make sure we're not punching the mouth. And obviously in some other games, again, against winnable sides, we end up getting sucker punched in the mouth and we don't recover from it. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, I believe, said, some, said something like that in terms of uh, we can't let the teams get the jump on us, where for the most part, teams do get a jump on us. So that is obviously an inconsistency in what he has to say. Billy Donovan's always changing the rotations. And that's obviously something that I, pro I honestly like. Um, but it's still a level of inconsistency as well because I've been asking this Bulls for our coaching staff to make experiments, to change the lineups, to try and get something that works. If that's Tristan Thompson and Vucevic, great. Uh, recently, it was Alex Crusoe and Ayo Dosumu starting together. Before then, it was just Alex Crusoe replacing Ayo Dosumu. So at the end of the day, there's rotations, there's changes trying to be made to find the best possible solution. So I personally don't have a problem with the inconsistency in the starting lineup because for the most part, 
But outside of March, our lineup has been very consistent in terms of the main guys we'll be starting. Guys like Javante, Vucevic, Levine, DeRozan, all of them will be starting. So it's a very good consistency in that area. But that level of inconsistency in the starting lineup and trying to find experiments and matchups and adjustments that do work, that's a positive of the inconsistency the Chicago Bulls are forming today. But there is something else. And many people might say the Chicago Bulls have been consistent. They've been consistently inconsistent, but they have been consistent in terms of the final results of games. In the last five games for the Chicago Bulls, we failed to score 110 points in all of those games. Again, look at the Pelicans. We, we scored 109. The Bulls and the Cavs, we scored 98. The Knicks and the Bulls, we scored 104. The Wizards and the Bulls, we scored 107. Last five games, ladies and gentlemen, that is, and the Bucks as well. Let's not forget that. We had 98 points against the Milwaukee Bucks. That's consistency at the end of the day. That's consistently where we've been between the 90 to 110 range. And that shows a struggle in our offensive side of the ball as well. It shows struggles in our ball movement. It shows struggles in all these areas. But the main thing in terms of the final score of these games has been very consistent for the Chicago Bulls. Maybe this is our range from our best at the moment to our worst. That is something that we do need to look at because... Month of February, once again, I can't always harp on the month of February. It was a great month for the Bulls. But if you look at that month specifically, we had a lot of 120, 130 point games. We had at least over 110 for some of those games as well. It was a much better stretch offensively for the Chicago Bulls. So I think it also shows consistency in how other teams want to play the Chicago Bulls. We saw it with the Knicks. We saw it a little bit with the Wizards, the way that they want to double team DeMar DeRozan, the way that they want to try and get the ball out of his hands at the top of the key so he doesn't get into those easier spots to score those mid-ranges. Game plans, ladies and gentlemen. All of these teams have game plans for the Chicago Bulls, and it shows in our score lines, in my opinion. So this seems to be the type of team that we're being at the moment, a team that's relatively inconsistent in our ball movement, a team that's relatively inconsistent in our performances, relatively inconsistent in our lineups and the changes that we make, relatively inconsistent in terms of, I guess, winning and losing these games. But most importantly, we're consistent in terms of the final results of this game as well. So that's something that we could potentially see is maybe the Bulls are consistent, but they're just not really good enough at the moment to change how consistent they are. So that brings the question. That's why I'm asking this question to you guys about the consistency of the Chicago Bulls. Do you think consistency is going to be good enough to win some games? Because... Many of you guys might think that we need to have a level up and then become consistent. But what if the Bulls don't have that extra level to go to at the moment? That's my question. That's my worry. That's what I hope is not happening for the Chicago Bulls. All I want is to one up every single performance. And all I could say is from the Knicks game to the Wizards game, we've done that. But can we do that against the Clippers? Can we do that from the Clippers game to the Miami Heat? Those are the questions that are begin to being asked. And if we keep on saying yes one game and then the next game, they don't then the game after that they do that's inconsistency ladies and gentlemen so with all that being said let me know in the comments below about the inconsistencies of the chicago bulls do you think the bulls are um potentially even if they are consistent they're just not good enough at the moment do you think that we can have another step up to go to to become even more consistent as a team do you think that consistency will come in the playoffs uh, it's a very tough situation. Again, it's high pressure, and sometimes high pressure, you can make diamonds. It's one of those situations where some of the highest pressures is where the true individuals, their outcomes do come, the, the players and, and how they grow. Those how that, Sometimes that's made in high pressure situations. So again, all of these things, let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below everything I mentioned. Again, if you have anything else you want to add, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But with that being said, have a wonderful and safe day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.